This is a specific misfire in your seventh cylinder. Don't start to lose sleep yet. We are here to explain some possible solutions and possible problems and what they mean for you and your vehicle. As always, make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so that you're notified when we release new content. P0307, again, means that there's a misfire in that seventh cylinder, and it's the difference between, say, a P0301 or a P0300, in which case you're getting random multiple misfires. Since it's happening in that seventh cylinder, that means it has to be happening in a eight to 12 cylinder engine. It won't be happening in your four or six cylinder engines. Now, let's explain what a misfire is. At its core, a misfire is the desynchronization of the combustion cycle within your engine. And unless your car is made before 1980 or you're riding a dirt bike, your car has a four stroke combustion cycle. Intake, compression, power, and exhaust. So your cylinder intakes the fuel oxygen mix. The piston compresses that mix. The spark plug ignites the mix to give power. And finally, your cylinder is opens to release the exhaust. And combustion requires three elements, oxygen, fuel, and spark. The intake stroke introduces oxygen and fuel, and the power stroke provides a spark. If any of these three components are messed up, the process gets out of sync, and you get this error code. Now, there are a lot of reasons for a misfire, but we are going to start with a few of the simplest. First, it could be that air-fuel mixture component. Your engine needs a very specific mixture of fuel and oxygen. So if there's a vacuum leak somewhere in the car, it could not be getting enough oxygen for that mixture. In this case, it can be a crack or a leak in the hose or really any other air component issue. And the good news, this is usually another less complex issue that doesn't hurt your wallet too much. Second, it could be on the fuel side of the mix. This usually has to do with a fuel injector or a fuel filter. Between the two, we suggest changing those fuel filters first because this is usually a cheaper fix around 20 to $60 without the labor. Whereas the injector is electric and is a little bit more complicated piece of machinery. And it can be anywhere from $600 to $1,100 for the parts alone. Finally, and most simply, it could be the ignition coil or your spark plug. And what's cool is that there's a super easy way to check this. In your engine, you can easily switch your ignition coil from one cylinder to another. If you don't know how to do that, this video right here will help you out. After you switch those coils, go ahead and grab your fixed sensor if you have one. No worries if you don't, any OBD2 scanner will work. Then you can see if the air code has switched from P0307 to a P0306. If it has, it's probably time to change that ignition coil. If it hasn't, then it might be time to check the spark plugs. In this case, you want it to be those spark plugs. If it is the spark plugs, it's usually gonna be a cheaper fix, anywhere from around $10 to 100, depending on your vehicle for parts alone. Coils are roughly 240 to 360 for the parts alone. The labor would set you back about 60 to $77. If you take out that spark plug, make sure to check out all the other spark plugs as well. If it's just that one spark plug that's worn out, then you're probably good and happy driving. If it's not, and there's multiple spark plugs worn out, I would go ahead and take this to your mechanic or a trusted friend, as there could be a more serious problem. For specifics on how to change those spark plugs and how to diagnose some of those other problems, make sure to check the links in the videos below. For P0307, there are plenty of other possible problems. This could be spark plug wires, bad fuel, any other air intake components, or even mechanical problems within the combustion cycle. The three problems mentioned before, in our opinion, are the easiest to fix and the most common. So check those out first, either yourself, with a friend, or a trusted mechanic. Don't have a trusted mechanic? You can check out our free app and look up local trusted shops. Don't have any friends? You can check out this helpful video here. Changed my life. Make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so that you're notified when we release new content. Cheers and happy driving everyone.